Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the dynamic island on any Android phone that has a punch hole or pill shaped notch. Before we begin, I would request you all to subscribe and press the bell icon. If you find this video good enough at some point, do hit the like button as well. Alright, now you just have to follow the simple steps that I'm about to show you. First of all, you have to open the Google Play Store and get this free application called Dynamic Spot. I have also added its link to the description of this video. Install this free app and open it up. This app will now ask you for some permissions. First, click on the notification access and give it the permissions. Only then it would be able to read and display your notifications inside that dynamic island. Now give it the permission to draw over the screen. This means the dynamic spot wants to draw a dynamic island on the top of other elements on your screen. So this permission is necessary because you want the dynamic island to work independently without disturbing other applications on your phone. So click on it to access the accessibility settings. Click on the installed applications and turn it on for the dynamic spot. Now go back and choose what apps you want to activate inside the dynamic island. I will activate it for all the applications on my phone. Click on done and now you have the settings for the dynamic island. On the top right corner you get this play button. Click on this play button to see how it looks. A sample notification will pop up in the dynamic island. Click on the notification settings battery and turn on dynamic spot for phone is charging. And the other two features are premium, however I have bought the dynamic spot so those features are unlocked for me. You can unlock these if you wish. Now click on the pop-up settings. From dimensions you can change the size and position of the dynamic spot. For example if you have a punch hole on the left side or the right side or a pill shaped notch. You can move or resize a dynamic island according to that. After this you have the appearance options. Select how you want the icons to appear. Click on allow two pop-ups to have two pop-ups running in the dynamic island at the same time. And the lock screen and pop-up effects are premium features once again. As I told you, I have unlocked premium version to show you what it offers. You can also customize the single tap and the long press functions. Again, these two are the premium features. And swipe to clear the notifications. Select the auto hide duration for the small pop-up. And let's give it a try now. I'm going to run the Spotify application first of all. Now this is how the music player appears in the pop-up if I long press. And if I just tap this dynamic island, it takes me to the Spotify app. Let's run the timer along with the Spotify application. The Spotify goes into the small pop-up instead. You can access both these by tapping on the small icons on the top. I wish the timer could run in the small pop-up with a stopwatch icon like uh, it does on the iPhone 14 Pro, but that's not how it works on uh, the Android smartphones. The timer will always go into the main dynamic island and not in the small pop-up. Now this time I am running the Samsung Music application and Spotify together and that's how both these apps look in the dynamic island. Let me check how the messages appear in the dynamic spot dynamic island on Android and that's how you are going to get these message notifications. The voice recorder waveform also appears in the dynamic island on Android. Now that is pretty cool. A tweet from one of my favorite Twitter accounts and it basically shows you the notifications like this from all of the compatible applications. Now this Android Dynamic Island is not on the same level as iOS. It's still gimmicky. It can't do a lot of things like the system notifications and all. I mean it won't show you the mute status or it won't show you the calls, the incoming calls or the outgoing calls, either the call controls do not appear in the dynamic island 
it's cool to try it out i personally won't be using it as i am not a huge fan of it i just purchased it to give you guys an idea of how it works and how it looks you can also make do with its free version but if you just wish to unlock those extra features you can definitely go ahead and get the premium version as well if you have any questions or queries drop them in the comments below like and subscribe if you haven't done that already i will sign off and see you all in the next one